The Australian government has doubled the visa processing fee for international students from 710 Australian dollars AUD to 1,600 Australian dollars beginning July 1st without prior information. We got the information this weekend. There was no prior announcement about it. Interested students will be informed about it. No doubt it will add to the financial burden of students and their parents, said Gaurav Chaudhary, a Ludhiana-based immigration consultant from EDU Planet. The Australian government has put the details of new charges on the immigration and citizenship website of their country. The visa application fee in 2020-21 was 620 Australian dollars, which increased to 630 Australian dollars in 2021 to 22 and further to 650 Australian dollars in 2022 to 23, followed by 710 Australian dollars in 2023 to 24. But in 2024 to 25, it has been increased to 1,600 Australian dollars, a steepest hike in the past five years, said Gaurav Chaudhary. Not only this, Australia's visa application fee is the highest compared to countries such as Canada, New Zealand, the US, and the UK. For Canada, the visa fee for students is 170 Australian dollars, 290 Australian dollars for the US, 345 Australian dollars for New Zealand, and 940 Australian dollars for the UK. While for Australia, it's a whooping 1,600 Australian dollars, he added. Australia made several changes in the study visas in the past six to eight months, which resulted in the reduction in the number of students' visa applications, Chaudhary said, adding that this change would further impact the students' plan to study in Australia. If an application is rejected, 1,600 Australian dollars will go to waste. Earlier, it was around 710 Australian dollars. So, it matters a lot, said Narain Dutt, a Bernala resident. The Australian government has already lowered the age limit of the students applying for temporary graduate visas TGV, from 50 to 35 years beginning from July 1st. Another important change the Australian government has made is the applicant needs to submit a visa application from abroad and not from Australia. Earlier, several visitor visas and TGV holders used to apply for student visas while residing in Australia, but the new rule says onshore visa application will not be allowed. This change has also been made applicable from July 1st. However, people are aware of it as the Australian government made a public announcement much before. Several tourist visa holders used to do visa hopping after reaching Australia and used to apply for student visa applications. Sources said the Australian government lowered the upper age limit to curb instances of visa hopping, as tourists used to visit Australia on a visitor visa for a holiday or visit a relative in Australia and get themselves enrolled in a diploma or a bachelor's degree program and would apply for an onshore study visa. Sources said as soon as the study visa file was submitted, the applicant used to get a bridging visa, a kind of security to stay in the country till the result of the study visa application came. However, now this visa hopping or onshore visa granting facility has been stopped, sources added. Amid allegations of unpaid dues to actors and crew members, the production and distribution company Pooja Entertainment has finally broken its silence on the matter, revealing that Bollywood star Akshay Kumar has stepped in to help resolve the situation. According to a statement, Akshay has insisted on his own payment being placed on hold until everyone is paid. Move is one of a raft of changes as the nation seeks to reduce migration Sydney. Australia on Monday more than doubled visa fees for students from overseas, while reducing the time such pupils can remain in the country after graduating, as part of broader moves to curb migration. Fees will rise from 710 to 1,600 Australian dollars, 474 dollars to 1,070 dollars, with the government saying the increased revenues will fund migration and education initiatives announced in the recent budget, such as supporting vocational training and providing fee-free university courses.